Sound is a form of energy that spreads from its source in all directions. We hear sound when vibrating particles hit our eardrum. Sound moves when the particles hit each other and pass on the vibrations. Sound needs a medium. So that's why sounds need a medium for its propagation. The medium may be a gas such as air, a liquid such as water or solid such as metal. Air is made up of gases. The particles in gases are farther apart than in liquids or solids. It takes longer for one gas particle to hit another gas particle and move the sound energy along. Sound can travel through other mediums than air. In fact, in water, sound travels faster and can travel further. Particles in water are close together. That's why sound travels more quickly in water than in air. Sound waves travel even better through solids. Like woods or metal, the particles in a solid are tightly packed. So look at the particles into solid. They are more close, they are tightly packed. And sound waves travel fastest in this medium. Today we are going to learn about sound. Our lesson objective is to describe how sound travels. Our keywords are sound waves, medium, and compressions. Let's begin with a, a warm-up activity about what do we know about sound and what's the definition of sound and how it's produced. Okay, it's a classwork activity. So how is sound produced? It's produced when an object vibrates, creating a wave. And this wave causes particles in the surrounding, example a medium, by example such as air, water or solid to have a motion or vibrational motion. And these particles will move the nearby adjacent particles and it will transmit the sound further through the medium. And finally, the human ear can detect sound waves. So sounds are, sound waves can vibrate and can travel through mediums such as air, liquid, or solids. No sound in vacuum. Example, outer space. The initial vibration used to make a sound vibrate the matter. Look at the particles. They are vibrating. They hit each other and it can create a wave that travel through the medium. If we do not have matter, we, there is no sound. Okay, so look at this drum and with this stick uh, when we are making a sound, the vibration is traveling through the air and this, the particles are, uh, are into motion. If you look at the picture, we can see a pattern. We can see areas with a group of particles that are punched, grouped together, and they are alternating with all with all areas of particles that are farther apart. So this one we call it compression when the particles are bunched together, and the sound waves will travel at different speed through matter. So this one, the, the, the outline, the, uh, the circled areas, we call it compression. And if we have a tube fork and it's vibrate to make a sound, so the particles, when they are grouped together, they are bunched, when they are bunched together, we call it a high pressure of particles 
we call it a compression now look at this graph it show us the speed of sound through different materials we have steel and brick as solid matter and we have fresh water as liquid and air as gas if you look at the graph we can see that the bar of the steel is the highest it show us that the speed is about 5000 meters per second but it's it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, below it's uh, decreasing the speed is uh, below uh, in fresh water it's about 1500 and in gas is the slowest speed in gas so what's the conclusion about the speed of the sound through different materials or, or mediums is that sound travel faster in steel in solids than fresh water liquids than air or gases So the speed of sound in general is uh, in air it's about 340 meters per second and sound is as conclusion is sound is transmitted faster in solid than in liquid than uh, and it's the slowest in air okay and this one is the last activity about time to climb okay so sound is produced when an object vibrate creating a wave is it true or false yes is it true okay let's see compression are areas where particles of matter bunch together yes true and sound waves travel most quickly through solids followed by liquid and then by gases true also sound travels faster in water in liquid than air and finally sound wa sound waves travel all at the same speed through matter no they travel at different speed through matter or medium so it's false